Well, despite the sweltering heat, it's actually pretty slow atmospheric wise, but we're tracking some pretty strong low pressure systems and the tropics are firing off again, but nothing to worry about just yet. Some cooler weather definitely on the way. Now we got real close to those triple digits after staying pretty warm overnight, dropping all the way down into those mid 70s. Then we made a good 20 degree run up into those 90s, right where we want to be as far as temperature spread. And we're cooling off right now, 95 degrees. Everybody else joining us in those mid to lower 90s across the entire region. The high humidity is allowing us to stay pretty close together across the entire Concho Valley. I'm always looking for 10 degrees right now, but it's 95 in Sterling City, 95 in San Angelo, 95 down there in Junction, and 93 over there in Ozona. So everybody pretty close together, getting close to those triple digits, but we're already on the cool down. But by tomorrow, we could be looking at the exact same temperature spread, perfect for kickoff and a beautiful weekend to follow. So those dew points right now are in those 60s and the humidity indices are anywhere in those upper 30s, if not those lower 40s across the entire area. They're down about 10% from yesterday, but the moisture is definitely on the rise with that steady sustained southerly winds upper level pattern Stephen and I have been staring at all day as we track this strong low pressure system make its way over Texas. That's where we're going to see those temperatures cool down. Then we'll see a little bit of ridging fight its way in. A long wave trough develop all the way from the Great Lakes down to the Concho Valley. Then again, we're looking at that ridging push all the way up into Minnesota. Another low pressure system where we could see an equilibrium or exchange of pressure systems around the four corners. Going to be pretty dynamic and we'll see what that means here for the Concho Valley as some of that wind could be pushing up towards the north. But when we look at the water vapor imagery, you're watching the fast low pressure make its way around the west coast another circulation taking aim at california look how strong this ridging is pushing against that cold front making its way down from the north and then we're seeing some explosive activity somewhere around minnesota and things are kind of drying out as they make their way towards florida we take you into the moisture tracker where we're going to watch the concentrations of blues really take over the sierra madres and really take aim at the concho valley getting a good idea of the bubble before things start to get pretty explosive around the mississippi river valley we take you into the severe weather outlook where it's really just targeting parts of Minnesota all the way down into Iowa and stretches all the way down into the panhandle of Texas, but we're always on the tail end of some of this activity. They are slated to see tornadoes up in this area, but of course we're watching that severe weather slowly push off towards the east. We have watched it all week gradually take its time getting all the way to the Concho Valley. And when we take you down to the surface, you can already see that tornado watch being issued along with some severe weather along this cold front. And it's going to continue to convect along this line all the way down into the panhandle. We take you all the way down into the Concho Valley where we're still watching that southerly flow. Now we've seen the morning of cloud cover clear up by that lunchtime and that's exactly what we're going to continue to see by Friday morning. We're going to watch that cloud cover burn off by lunch. Things look perfect for kickoff and then again we make our way into a beautiful Saturday and then by Sunday we're watching that cold front take its way across the panhandle and then I run out of data so we'll see that cloudy morning and then we're on the lookout for some of that thunderstorm activity. So tonight we're dropping back down into those lower 70s holding on to a little bit of heat. Then tomorrow another good run at those triple digits so make sure you're staying hydrated because we want to get out there and enjoy kickoff Friday night football. I'm so excited. And then finally, we start to see some of those cooler temperatures with that strong cold front make its way through. We're down 10 degrees by Sunday, the first day of fall, seeing some of that isolated thunderstorm activity. Then by the last week of September already, we're going to see us drop another 10 degrees and we will level out in those 80s with those lows staying down there in those mid 60s. Stay tuned. We'll have more of the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.